Hi, this is Tim. In this video, I'm gonna show you one of our custom control panels. Each panel we build that has some type of custom functionality gets a video like this made. Now they're not shot for angles, they're not shot to really teach anything. It's really just to show the customer that they're getting the functionality that they're looking for. But I thought they'd be good examples to people who are looking to build control panels or have an idea and they're not exactly sure how to develop it. So let's go ahead and hit play on this one. Have your panel almost ready to go. I miscounted the number of relays I needed, so I'm waiting on two. I've got uh, this one temporary relay in just to test the functionality. And to start with, we're going to move this over here. This is the damper relay. So aside from function as a damper, it isn't necessary after this. So here is our damper HOA handoff auto. So I'm going to switch it to hand. And you can see it did come on. Also, when I got uh, laying it out, it made more sense just to have um, the neutral wire through the relay also and just have your installer wire to the bottom of the relay as opposed to having the contacts like we talked about. Then we switch to auto and you see it's in auto now and now I'm going to operate fan 1 and fan 2 just to show that it does operate. So fan 1 contactor comes on and you can see the relay came on. Fan 2 contactor comes on, you can see the relay comes on. Just to verify, you see we have 120 volts. For the rest of the test, I'm going to remove this relay. Oops. And I'm going to place it right here. Just so it can cover all the other functionality. This is the panel fault relay. And you have two terminals over here, which I don't, they're right on the edge of being able to see. But I'm going to show continuity here. And I go between the two of them, this is a dry contact. You see we have continuity and I am just going to hit one of the tests on these motor starters and you can see that relay drops out and also our continuity drops out because now we have a fault. So now going back to the front of our panel, power on. Right now we have no panel faults. Our other thing is running so I'm going to switch to fan 1. You see we get the fan one running. You see the contactors pulled in. Now I'm going to trip fan one's overload and you'll see fan two come in. Fan two pulls in. It's over here. Now we show fan two running. Fan one has an overload. I'm going to reset that. See it goes right back to fan one. Fan two drops out. I'm going to switch to fan two which has the same functionality. Fan one running. I'm going to hit the test button on fan two. Fan one turns on. See fan one's running, fan two's overloaded. And I guess just to show also, you can trip that one and now both of them are overloaded. I didn't note there, but in all those situations you'll see the panel fault light went out, which corresponds with this relay dropping out, which breaks the um the continuity of that circuit. And finally, this panel is designed for 480 volt incoming power. Let me know if you have any questions. If you happen to have a custom control panel you're looking to get built, please feel free to contact us. Here are some other custom control panel videos we have that you may find helpful and YouTube thinks that you'll like these videos. Also, please hit the subscribe button. We put out at least one video a week. And if you find our videos helped you make some money, but you're not actually using our service, then please consider supporting us over on Patreon. Till next time.